Well, merci and thank you, Deb and Valerie. And good evening, fellow conservatives. Bonsoir, cher ami. Comment ça va? What a great night to be a conservative, friends. I also want to begin my comments by acknowledging the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her lifelong service to her country and the Commonwealth will remain a shining example of selfless duty and devotion. And I wish to pass on my sincere condolences to the royal family at this time. The loss of such a long-standing monarch is indeed sad. But tonight, friends, I have the privilege. I have the privilege of introducing a very, very good friend of mine and a great friend of the Conservative Party of Canada. The Honorable Candace Bergen and I met for the first time some 20 years ago in 2002 when Candace was working as a volunteer for the Canadian Alliance Party in a by-election in St. Boniface, Manitoba. I, at that time, was a member of the Canadian Alliance National Council. We worked together during that campaign, during that by-election, and quickly became friends for life. It has been a true pleasure for me to deal with Candace and work with Candace in all the roles that she has taken on in our party. From being a volunteer to running for the Conservative Party of Canada in the riding of Portage Lisgar when that opportunity presented itself in 2008. To being a cabinet minister in a strong Stephen Harper majority government. To then being the opposition house leader, for four years, Candace was the opposition house leader, both under the uh, leadership of the Honorable Rana Ambrose and then under the leadership of the Honorable Andrew Scheer. Then being the deputy leader of our party under the Honorable Aaron O'Toole. And for the last seven months, and Candace doesn't like to be called the interim leader, she likes to be called the leader in the interim. And that is what she has been. I am asked often, and I did this just a while ago when I was speaking to a group of interns uh, in, the, in the Senate of Canada building, uh, and I get asked, how can I get involved in politics? Candace is a leading example for all Canadians who are looking to get engaged. She started as a volunteer, and with skills and devotion, she created a remarkable path for herself, one that led to one of the highest positions in her country, the leader of the loyal opposition. Candace has shown her strength and her abilities in each and every role and each and every decision that she has made. She is not only a great speaker, but more importantly, she is a great listener. Someone that has listened to your concerns as well as mine. Someone who has listened to the concerns of the members of the Conservative Party of Canada, to the Conservative Caucus, and has acted on them. Candace is a peacemaker, something she comes by honestly, being of Mennonite heritage. Now, I'm also of Mennonite heritage, and I have never quite had the same gifts as a peacemaker as Candace Bergen has had. The Conservative family has benefited greatly from her peacemaking abilities. With everyone here tonight, I wish to take an opportunity to thank her for that. Friends, Candace has achieved in our caucus what had not been achieved in quite some time, and that is complete party unity. A unity that will be passed on to a new leader later on this evening. A unity that will be able to be taken 
by the new leader as he or she moves our party forward to winning the next election. This is no small feat as you think of leading a Conservative caucus. Conservatives inherently are not followers, they are leaders. And Candace has done a remarkable job of bringing us all together. We have not only become colleagues, Candace, you and I have become lifelong friends. Betty and I look forward to spending more time with you and Mike at the lake as your place is just down the street from ours. You are a true friend of the Conservative Party of Canada, Candace. It has been an honor to serve in caucus under your leadership. Thank you very much. Son leadership, offrir une opposition forte et unie au gouvernement libéral et être la voix de tous les Canadiens, sans exception. Au nom de tous mes collègues, Monsieur le Président, je peux dire sans me tromper qu'elle a réussi sur toute la ligne. Candace, you step up where the country needed you. When you took over as leader, you inherited a really badly divided caucus. You've taken a very diverse group of MPs, brought them together, refocused and reunited us to do what we need to do as the official opposition. Your leadership and dedication in keeping the party united is greatly appreciated. You were the right person at the right time. You were successful in uniting us into a high-performing team. You know how to build good teams, and that's a skill in itself. When critics said it would be impossible to hold things together, you prove them wrong. Starting off in the class of 2008 as an MP, to a committee chair, parliamentary secretary, cabinet minister, house leader, deputy leader, culminating in the past few months as our leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. You've done such a great job in that time. You've been a pillar of strength for our party these last six months. You did a great job in a trying time. You did an amazing job. You did it with such great class. Well done. You've proudly represented Manitoba and all of Canada. You've challenged us to always do what is right and stand for Conservative principles. In question period, you outmatched the Prime Minister each time he decided to show up for work. You've given the Prime Minister no days off. Your character, your common sense, your compassion while you led us, your steady hand, positive attitude, and strong performance have served us well. Working under your leadership has been the highlight of my career. Effective leadership is leaving something better than you found it, and that will certainly be your legacy. It's so nice to have a leader who really appreciates the, the people who are in the party. And allowing members to express themselves freely on matters that are important to Canadians. You have also maintained an approachability that I've personally appreciated uh, when I've come to you and when I've even brought your constituents to you. If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And I felt that's what you did with Caucus. Which is precisely why the party and movement are in a better place. You are not only a leader, an inspiration, and a mentor to our caucus, and especially the women in our caucus, but also to women and girls across the country. I admire and respect you as a friend, a colleague, and a great Canadian. I've always said that you are the heart and soul of our party. Is a testimony of the type of person that you are. You have so much to be proud of. You were a steady hand and a principled leader. You have united our caucus. You've worked really hard, we really appreciated it, and you made it fun. But most of all, you never forget who it is you're fighting for. The people here, and across Canada. And he certainly left us in a great position with the new leader coming forward because of all your hard work. And for that, all of us are thankful for your leadership. Merci pour tout ton travail comme chef intérimaire. Merci infiniment, Candace. For the way that you have served caucus and served our party. For everything you've done to bring everybody together through very difficult times. For your leadership pendant cette période de transition, votre résilience et de nous mener à bon port dans ce choix pour un nouveau leader. Merci d'avoir pour avoir pris la relève en attendant notre futur chef. Many thanks for your time, your friendly listening. For being our fearless leader for the last six months. For keeping us united and focused on holding the government to account. For helping us to move our conservative movement forward. For your contribution to forming the next conservative government. 
for staying calm in the face of much adversity. As we came out of COVID and dealt with all of the issues of an incompetent government. Very much appreciated the confidence that you had in a rookie year. You've studied the ship and you were certainly a leader for a time such as this. Nous avons été très chanceux et privilégiés de t'avoir comme chef intérimaire dans cette période qui n'était pas facile pour personne. Really appreciate what you and Michael have done for us just uh, carrying us through this uh, bit of a trying time as a party. Je suis très heureux de travailler avec toi, tu es une femme extraordinaire. I'd like to thank you very very much to helping me to serve all those nice people from my writing. The membership was proud to say that you are their leader. Coast to coast to coast, conservatives all over Canada say thank you as well. I looking forward walk with you this fall in the House of Commons. I look forward to continuing to serve alongside you as we get back to Parliament this fall. And after the next election, when we're in government. And defeat the Trudeau Liberals and bring common sense and good governance back to this country. And I can't wait for what your next achievements in public life are going to be. Anyways, thanks so much. It's all good. All the best to you. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, please help me in welcoming our leader, the leader in the end term, the Honorable Candace Bergen. Thank you so much. I, um, I do want to begin by saying how saddened I am at the passing of our beloved Queen, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. She served with honour. She really was our Queen. And I have no doubt that her place will be as great as that of Queen Victoria in the story of Canada. May we all... Friends, may we all strive to emulate the dignity and the grace that she personified throughout. Michael and I are praying and are thinking of the royal family during this time. Long live the King. Wow. Thank you so much, Dawn, for your incredibly kind and generous words and introduction. My heart is truly filled with gratitude. Dawn, you and I have been very good friends for many years as we've worked together in our party. And like many good conservatives, we did disagree occasionally, but we always respected each other. We've been intensely loyal to our friendship and our cause, and that's what conservatives do. Sharing many laughs, sharing some tears, many dinners, and late night talks. And because of that, Dawn, you and Betty are lifelong friends to Michael and I, and we're very grateful for you. And thank you all. I look across this room and I say thank you all. I know so many of you, it's wonderful to see your faces, to see your smiles, to see so many people that I've seen at conventions and campaigning and throughout the country. So thank you very much for your kindness and, uh, and your welcome. I know I speak for Michael as well when I say thank you for the appreciation we have felt from all of you, not only this evening, but over the last seven months. Whether in airports or restaurants, out at the mall or at EDA events, through phone calls and emails and even some social media posts, I'm hearing a strong message that our grassroots conservative memberships the foundation of our party, you are hopeful, and you are excited about the future, and you are proud to be conservative. You, you are proud that we stand for fiscal responsibility, national unity, law and order, and freedom of expression and belief. Freedom. Not liberal light, but conservative. 
And in addition to that, literally hundreds of thousands of more Canadians have joined our party and are feeling that same optimism and excitement. So, thank you for helping confirm to me and our entire Conservative caucus that we were on the right track by being a strong, consistent Conservative voice in all that we have said and all that we have done. My, my heart is filled with gratitude as well to my incredible caucus. First of all, my leadership team made up of Luc Berthold, my deputy leader, merci beaucoup Luc, pour le bon travail que vous avez fait. Thank you to Blaine Calkins, our whip, John Brassard, our house leader, as well as MPs Tom Kamich, Melissa Lanceman, Leanne Rood, and Warren Steinley. You are all extraordinary leaders, and I thank you. And to the rest of our caucus, including senators who work day in and day out in Ottawa and their ridings, and would come to Ottawa every week and bring advice and strategy and passion on how to deal with issues of the day. Thank you to my caucus. Thank you to our caucus chair, Scott Reed, who has done a fantastic job over the last several months. Ladies and gentlemen, our caucus is made up of so many smart, experienced, wise, and compassionate individuals. And if there's one piece of advice I want to give to the new leader, whoever it is, it's this. Respect, listen to, and trust our caucus. They will not let you down. Now, you know, every leader leaves a mark, and that pertains also to the, those who serve as in, in the interim capacity, leaders in the interim. And I'm thinking of people like Deb Gray. Give Deb a hand. She's doing a great job emceeing tonight. She opened the doors of Stornoway, using it as a working home and starting the wise practice of meeting frequently there with MPs, supporters, and staff to hear and understand more thoroughly what they had to say. One of Deb's marks was openness and outreach. Or the other one I'm thinking about is Rana Ambrose, my dear friend Rana. Rana took over our party after our party suffered a difficult defeat. She brought hope and optimism to our party. With a broad appeal, Rana attracted people to us, and she lifted women like me into positions of leadership, not as tokens, but because of merit. Rana is a builder who lifts people up. And then there was John Reynolds. Now, rumor has it John finally got the decaying kitchen redone at Stornoway. Nobody wanted to take the political hit, but as urban legend has it, he accidentally put his foot through a, a rotten floorboard at Stornoway, and when he did, he said, enough is enough, I'm going to do it. And he left the official opposition residence with some new floors and a sturdy, durable chopping block kitchen counter built to last. John Reynolds left his mark as a steady and experienced leader. And then there was Dr. Grant Hill. Grant was our first interim leader after Stephen Harper and Peter McKay led us to unification. Grant's mark was a solid, sober professionalism that was so critically required in the early days of a new party. And so to all of my predecessors, all of the leaders of our party, all who have left their mark, both permanent and leaders in the interim, you have our deep and respectful appreciation for the strength and the success of the party that you helped build. So, yes, go ahead, give them all a hand. We all leave a mark, and we want it to be lasting, and we want it to be a good mark. And I hope I've been able to leave my, my mark as well. I, I want to be remembered as a leader who helped bring unity and pride to our Conservative Party. I want to be remembered as a leader who helped us move away from identity politics and labeling in our party and towards unity in disagreement. Unity while still holding different views. Unity, not uniformity. So, 
So my friends, my fellow conservatives, as I leave, I want to once again ask you, please don't allow yourself, whatever kind of conservative you are, to be broken into groups and labeled. Do not descend into the cauldron of identity politics and division in our own party. Do the opposite. Live, talk, and walk unity, even when you disagree with each other. Actually, especially when you disagree with each other. Unity as Conservatives and unity as Canadians. I love this party. I love this party. It's, uh, it was so interesting, Dawn, as you talked about what I've done and how I started as a volunteer. And, uh, you know, I cannot imagine, I cannot believe that I stand here before you as, as your leader. It has just been an incredible experience, and I feel so blessed to be able to, to be here. But to be able to tell young people the opportunity that they have, not just young people, people of all ages, to be able to get involved and make a difference for their country and in their party. So it was with mixed emotions that I announced earlier this week that I will not be seeking re-election. After 14 remarkable years and five elections, I've decided it's time to open new doors and pursue other interests and passions. But no matter where I am, my friends, or what I am doing, I will always be a proud conservative, doing all I can for our leader and our party. And now, speaking of leader, tonight is the night. Tonight is the night we're going to find out who our members have selected to be the next leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. I want to thank each one of the candidates, Jean, Leslin, Pierre, Roman and Scott, for putting your names forward and the great work that you and your teams have done. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I have no doubt we will support our new leader. We will buttress the new team. We will help them. We will prop them up and advise them. We'll give our new leader the chance to flourish and pave the way for a new federal conservative government. Now, I have served federally for 14 years, and on one hand, it does seem like a long time, but on the other, it really goes by in a flash. I started as a volunteer, and as I said, I'm leaving from this stage as the person in whom was bestowed the trust of leadership. And so I want to say a special thank you to Manitoba, to my constituents, to my home, to my home, to the people of Portage Lisgar. Manitobans are great people. They are resilient, innovative, compassionate, hardworking, and generous. And I want to thank all of those who supported me, not only in the last seven months, but those who helped, me, helped bring me to Ottawa in the first place. Over the last several months, a very special thank you goes out to Mr. Wayne Benson, the executive director of our party and a fellow Manitoban. Wayne came out of retirement in PEI and he took on the job of executive director at my request during a very difficult time. In fact, it was literally when the Emergencies Act had been called. So in the literal middle of a so-called emergency, Wayne Benson came forward. What a hero he was to me. And with the help of Rob Batherson, Ian Brody, James Dodds, and a host of staff and volunteers, they guided us through this leadership race. And I want to say thank you to each one of you. To my family, my siblings, and especially my children, Lucas, Delaney, and Parker, and your children, thank you for sharing your mom and Grammy, your daughter and sister with the country. And to my husband, Michael, who has been a true partner and companion to me through this entire journey as leader. He has worked with me, he has served, and his love gave to me and I could give to you. And I want to thank you so much, my love.
And finally, again, thank you to my wonderful caucus, the members of Parliament that are elected across this country to represent as Conservative members of Parliament. It has been the honour of my political life to have been your leader. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. What a privilege to serve you. I am grateful. I am blessed. God bless all of you. God bless Canada. And God save the King. Merci beaucoup. Well, when you're a volunteer president, there are good days and days that aren't as good. But uh, I had a great day uh, earlier this week uh, getting to do a little bit of a, uh, a backroom scheme with uh, Candace's uh, husband, Michael, and uh, my friend, uh, James Dodds, chair of Conservative Fund Canada. And uh, I don't know if the surprise got out. We tried to keep it from you, Candace. Um, but we wanted to thank Candace for her work as our leader in the interim, and her 14 years and counting of dedicated service to the people of Portage Lesgar. So here's our special announcement. On behalf of James Dodds, the chair of the Conservative Fund, our party is proud to make a contribution in the name of the Honourable Candace Bergen to Turning Leaf Support Services. And please go online and find out about this amazing organization. So, I think one thing that shines through about Candace Bergen is compassion. Turning Leaf Support Services is an organism of bienfaisance, chère à Candace, qui offre ses services de crise et de traitement centré aux personnes vulnérables et marginalisées à faible et à haut risque, vivant avec une maladie mentale et des défis intellectuels ainsi que pour le traumatisme, l'intinérance, la pauvreté, la toxicomanie, la discrimination, l'exploitation sexuelle, la société des stigmates, qui ne sont que quelques-uns des obstacles auxquels leurs participants sont confrontés chaque jour. A small token of appreciation for everything Candace Bergen has done for our party, not only since becoming a member of Parliament in 2008, but also for her tireless work since February, keeping everything running smoothly, ready for our next leader. Thank you, Candace for everything.